Okay, this may shock you, but I'm not a millionaire, even though it's definitely a goal of mine. 50, 70, 90, 100. I got a couple ones. And even though I have a long way to go, well, unless you like and subscribe and share with a million of your friends, I find myself often reading about millionaires and learning a lot of different things about them. So in today's video, I wanna share some of the interesting facts that I've learned along the way. So uh, let's get into it. So before we start this video, I wanna ask you a random ridiculous question and I will give you my answer at the end of the video. But if you had an unlimited amount of money, what's the one ignorant thing that you would do just for yourself? leave a comment below and let me know. So I first wanna let you guys know where my sources are coming from. And the first is this book right here called Everyday Millionaires by Chris Hogan. This book is based off a national study of over 10,000 US millionaires, which they claim to be the largest study conducted of its kind in the US, where they surveyed all these millionaires, asking them a bunch of questions about how they thought, their lifestyle, and things like that. I've read this book and it's a really good book. My second source is a bunch of research done by Thomas C. Corley. He spent five years studying millionaires. I think he studied about 300 millionaires over this time. He gathered all his information and he put it in this book called Rich Habits, The Daily Success Habits of Wealthy Individuals. So now that you know where I got my information from, let me give you the interesting facts. Okay, so the first was a bit of a shocker to me, but the majority of millionaires did not receive an inheritance. As a matter of fact, the stats tell us that 79% of millionaires did not receive an inheritance at all. I think this is pretty crazy because growing up, anytime you heard about millionaires, it was always about how they got lucky because they were born into the right family or they got lucky because they might've won the lottery or these are just things people say, nothing really substantiated by any evidence or statistics. But I would think that most people would think that millionaires aren't really self-made, at least not the bulk of them. So according to Everyday Millionaires, it says that the majority of millionaires didn't even grow up around a lot of money. According to the survey, eight out of 10 millionaires come from families at or below middle income level. Only 2% of millionaires surveyed said that they came from an upper income family. And the crazy thing about this stat is that the 21% that did receive an inheritance, only like 3% received an inheritance of a million or more. So the second interesting fact is that the top five careers for millionaires are accountants, engineers, teachers, lawyers, and people who work in management. Now the craziest thing about this fact is the teacher portion. Teachers are known to be underpaid um, according to our society, right? So you would automatically wonder, why are they in the top five careers for millionaires? In my search for this answer, I ran into an article that was pretty interesting, and it was titled, Why Teachers Are More Likely to Become Millionaires Than Physicians. One, physicians have massive amounts of debt, usually around $250,000 or more. Two, physicians don't really get started in their career until their mid-30s, so they're already getting a late start versus teachers who have started early. And the third thing is that a lot of physicians fall into the trap of lifestyle creep because of the people that they're around. People are driving nice cars, they have nice houses, they're doing big things, they're going on expensive vacations. And so when you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, you tend to spend more. This shows you that a high salary does not equate to automatically being able to become wealthy and that it's more of a mindset thing than it is having a ton of money. You can have all the resources in the world, but without the right mindset, you cannot effectively leverage those resources appropriately. Shout out to my wife who's a teacher. Oh, and there was something else that I read in the book that kind of like supported this. Check this out. Only 15% of millionaires are in senior leadership positions in their company, and only 7% are C-suite executives. Interesting. All right, so the third thing is that millionaires don't typically go to elite schools. Let me read this to you. The National Study of Millionaires showed that it's the degree itself that matters, not where the degree comes from. Almost two thirds of millionaires, 62%, graduated from public state schools, while only 8% went to prestigious private schools. But the bulk of millionaires did get that piece of paper. I think this is key. A lot of times the degree that you get 
may not necessarily be the best degree to leverage really good positions. And what I mean by that is sometimes very general degrees like maybe a liberal arts degree won't do much for you in the corporate world where a degree in one of the STEM fields might be easier to leverage so that you can get a higher paying position. I also think that millionaires do this because they are very intentional with their actions and going to public school is significantly cheaper than going to private school. Therefore, you end up with less debt. All right, the fourth thing is that millionaires use a grocery list. Now, I know that might seem really weird to say, but think about it. I talked about this in my last video. A lot of millionaires budget. They spend intentionally. They have a financial plan. They just don't go out and throw money at things that they want. They don't spend emotionally. So this actually makes sense that most of them would use a grocery list. And I'll read this. According to responses, 85% of participants in the National Study of Millionaires rely on a grocery list to some degree. Interesting. The next thing is that self-made millionaires typically live modest lives. According to this study, 83% of self-made millionaires lived in a modest house, purchased good used cars, ate most meals at home, and bought cheap clothes. They also overwhelmingly avoided spontaneous and emotional purchases. I don't know if you've ever heard this saying, but there's a saying that goes something like, most people who spend money trying to look rich aren't rich, and the people who aren't rich aren't really spending their money. It's something that I've heard growing up, but now you actually, there's statistics to support it, which is very interesting. This one I found very interesting. Scheduling time to think is a top habit for rich people. So I read that they tend to isolate themselves and schedule time to think at least 15 minutes a day and typically in the morning. According to this article that I read on Psychology Today, it said that setting time aside to think usually allows you to come up with better ideas to solve problems, which facilitates thoughtful, big picture solutions. I personally like to think in the shower and when I'm on the toilet. It's, uh, it's my special time. This last one I thought was really, really interesting, and that is that they usually associate with people who are like-minded. And from what I read, what a lot of millionaires would do if people like to spend their money in ridiculous ways, they will separate themselves from them. And I think this is a key, important, interesting fact because you are who you surround yourself with. Think about it. There's a reason you don't hang out with certain people who do certain things, right? It's because if you surround yourself with people like that, you start to pick up on their behavior and their habits and you start to become a little bit of what they are. One of the millionaires said this, if a close relationship was a spendthrift, they limited how much they spent time with those individuals. I think in a journey to become a millionaire, a lot of people think it's about just obtaining a lot of money. The more I read and the more I learn, I know it's about mindset. I mean, you got teachers becoming millionaires. And I'll throw in a bonus one. Only 1% 1 of millionaires became millionaires before the age of 40. You know what that tells you? It's not a race, it's a marathon. I also think as you get older and your mindset changes, you kind of know how to deal with money better. You're also earning more. So now you have a better mindset. You have a higher income. Those two combinations can lead you to becoming a millionaire. So anyways, I just want to share a couple facts that I learned that I don't really hear talked about. Oh, I almost forgot to answer my question. If I had a ridiculous amount of money, like unlimited, have you ever seen Scrooge McDuck? You know how he fills up the vault with all the money and he just dives into it? I would do that, but with chicken nuggets. I would, 100%. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share it with a friend. If you wanna leave a comment, let me know what you got to say about it. I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy K-Soul, peace.